Hey guys, welcome back to another Cap Filmmaker tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be teaching you how to make that classic lightsaber effect. Let's dive in. So first of all, before we continue, make sure that you click the link in the description and download the Saber plugin from Video Copilot. It is a very helpful plugin. Simply scroll down and select your software version, whether that's Mac or Windows, and continue with the tutorial. So as you can see, we've imported our footage, so we're going to drag that into timeline to make the new composition. And before we continue, keep in mind that the techniques shown in this video are merely guidelines. If you have a different kind of shot that you need to work on, the same techniques will apply, but might require a bit of tweaking. Let's go. So in my case, it's me just swinging my lightsaber backwards and forwards, which we are then going to use to more amplify the lightsaber. Start by creating a new solid and labeling it Saber. Always remember to properly name your layers and solids so that it's easier to find them when you go back to them in the project. Believe me, I speak from experiences. Then go up to the effects controls panel and search the Video Copilot Saber plugin, which should be installed if you click the link in the description. Apply that to the solid. Then set the layer to screen or add, depending on your shot this may vary. Move the targets to the end and start respectively. To make things easier you can disable glow to get rid of the aura around the blade to just see the core. You can adjust the core size to better match the real life blade. Now select the two stopwatches to create keyframes for the position of each of the points. Move forward a couple frames, then move it to match the real life blade. Repeat this process until the entire shot is completed. Now re-enable the glow and you should have a pretty simple lightsaber effect. Now change the look of your lightsaber using the different kind of presets that Saber offers. If your shot needs the lightsaber to ignite or distinguish, then simply go into the effects controls for Saber and animate the start and end offsets. This will create the effect that the lightsaber is coming out of nowhere. If you want to remove the blade, simply take a screenshot of before you entered the frame and use that as a background. Mask around the blade and that should be your clean blade. Keep in mind that this effect is incredibly versatile, you can create so many different looks with Saber. In my shot, my lightsaber has small teeth at the end of it, which I needed to mask around in order to put the clean plate behind it so that they're not disappearing with the mask. This is a very easy fix, I simply masked around the footage and where the teeth were, and that was it. If your lightsaber passes behind you in your shot, like in mine, you can simply use the roto brush tool to rotoscope yourself out, and then place the lightsaber behind it. I will probably do a longer tutorial on how to perfectly do a rotoscope and key light effect, so leave a comment if you want to see that. And with that, your lightsaber effect should be done, so let's have a look. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on what you think we should do next week. Ring that notification bell if you want to see some more from me, and thanks for watching.